Hi and welcome back to the Cheeky Crypto Podcast. My name's Chris and it's fantastic to have you back with us for another podcast video and in today's video we're going to go through the biggest headlines, the stuff that I believe everybody should be made aware of, the really important pieces of news to keep you updated with everything in the crypto space. If you enjoy this sort of content, mash up the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tapping that bell, selecting all the notifications so you never miss a video. Right, let's get down to the desktop. Okay, so we're going to start here, and I think this is a really important one to be aware of. Multi-chain bridges exploited for nearly $130 million across Phantom, Moon River, and Doge Chain. Multi-chain developers told users to revoke smart contract approvals after locked funds had been moved by an unknown uh, anomaly, right? So a, a, an address had been moving an obscene amount of you know cryptocurrency so look this is something we see time and time again and we've got to be really really careful and mindful of the risks involved with some of these platforms anything with bridges seems to be a real big target at the moment you've even had the likes of uh, vitalik from ethereum come out and say that he's not even staking that much ethereum uh, and that is his own chain even his own developers on the ethereum chain are saying they don't really stake that much um because they know how it's how it's made and there's clearly security risks so with knowing all of this you know be mindful about where you're staking you know and um you know who's involved in bridges and all this sort of stuff so make sure that you're going away and doing your own research feel free to jump into our discord link is in the description it's absolutely free to join our discord we really do want people to be safe in this space and nick and myself and our wonderful team and community even um you know some of our community have got lots of experience in the crypto space all trying to support one another navigate this space safely so definitely worth immersing yourself down in our discord and you've got nothing to lose it's absolutely free so yeah look i wanted to to you know get that one off the bat straight away another one uh crypto exchange binance hit by executive exodus so again um you know cz um has been kind of playing this down talking about the fact that actually they've seen this monstrous size growth and you know it's part and parcel of you know um you know people that are being um you know made redundant and stuff like that so you know there's always two sides to a story i guess it's kind of trying to find the the actual uh truth uh, between all of that so yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions what's your thoughts on binance is it like ftx um or is it just um you know being uh, attacked because you know the the golden child uh sam bankman fried has uh been sort of called out by you know the the founder of binance is there something to it or not because all i'm seeing at the moment is a lot of accusations and no proof but let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below really interested to get them uh you know down in the comments we've got nigerian crypto tax move is premature local stakeholders industry stakeholders seek clarity regarding the implications of taxation and its connection to the recognition of cryptocurrency and associated uh, proceeds. So lots going on. Again, more um, regulatory clarity required. Canadian regulator explains stance on crypto staking lending for investment uh, funds. Staking is still allowed while the lending op uh, opportunities are limited in the proportion of liquidity uh li sorry liquid assets is restricted so again i'm going to drop this one in the discord for you to read through at your leisure really interesting stuff um i'm you know i've said this time and time again i do believe that a lot of these regulators a lot of these governments are going to get it wrong many times before they get it right so you know it's, i think it's gonna be a, you know painful at points uh, ripple eyes london for crypto growth uh, so again a fantastic thing that we're seeing here with when it comes to, to the uk with the cbdc's and all that sort of stuff 
probably becoming very um interesting for ripple and uh, you know what does this mean for xrp time will tell i think the lawsuit will end shortly and you know they're going to have the clarity required in order to go off and do all the things that they want to do whether it's a security or a non-security for me makes no difference and then this one is um again a another really interesting one uh, around um the crypto exchange FTX apparently they bailed on Taylor Swift partnership uh, they agreed a hundred million dollar partnership uh, with Taylor Swift um, but apparently they uh, they backtracked and uh, and didn't go near it now this is something very very different to what I was reading closer to the time that this all came out Taylor Swift apparently turned down the opportunity because you know it didn't seem like a, a legitimate business so rather interesting stuff where does the truth lie and this is the trouble with the media you know even with fact checking i think fact checking is you know again just somebody giving their opinion stamp of approval rather than necessarily anything factual we saw this with all the virus stuff that you know people were being uh, shut down told they can't talk about things because it didn't fit the narrative rather than it actually being the truth and i think you know you got an element of that with uh, a lot of the the crypto space lots of news that comes out you know even ai generating stuff now that you know is misleading people in the space i think that we've got to be aware of all this stuff we've kind of got to try to comb through the, the different news articles and try to find our truth the truth that we believe is the real underlying truth um and you know this is the thing with with the, the 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 media these days right everybody's got a um i i guess a, an agenda i mean we see this you know we saw this today for example you know uh, nick and myself unable to you know complete the vote on our harmony validator right and uh you know we tried many times and uh you know uh, basically i wake up this morning and see that one of the validators is encouraging people to undelegate anybody that didn't vote but they didn't reach out and say you know um is there a reason why you didn't vote we've noticed you voted on every single you know vote possible but this one you know is there a reason for that is there a problem you know they had plenty of time to do this but they chose not to but they've posted out something that i think is very damning and it's not just us there's actually far more um you know validators that didn't vote than did vote now i'm gonna say that that is because the the fault uh that there was a fault with the uh voting mechanism uh on harmony but this is the point you know people have got their agenda and they're putting it out and uh you know they're not really concerned about the consequences that that might have on other people's businesses or the fact that people have actually been trying and um you know trying to to do the right thing and not being able to and I think this stuff is really, really important to to wrap your heads around, you know, so, uh, you know, the agendas that people have, why are they um, putting out this this content? We even know that um, there were companies formed to just basically put slanderous, um, you know, uh, news articles out about other rival firms you know and uh, this was like a pay for service so you know we we saw the likes of uh, this being utilized by um, projects um, at least what i've read again can't confirm that it's true but the likes of luna ftx and so on so you know look interesting stuff when undercover reporting has been uh, done and made public and stuff like this so you know just be mindful of the stuff that you're reading uh, and digesting even when youtubers are talking about projects positively go away do your own research find your own truth uh, i think that is so important in this space and uh, look we hope that we don't lose any validators from from our harmony pool um, you know, I would um, never encourage anybody to move different pools, even if, you know, these um, other validators, I'm not suggesting that any of those, you know, people delegate into these, um, you know, uh, pools should move. I, I, I've never said that. And uh, I would never condone anybody making those sorts of statements. I think it's toxic. Um, and, you know, I, I think that 
we we all need to go away we need to go do our own research and we need to find our own truth and make sure that you know if you're making any investments you are doing that because there are people that are paid to, to to say certain things in the crypto space there are people with their own agenda in the crypto space you know i think that you know there's potentially an agenda to to get people to you know rethink their delegation with us and other pools that didn't vote that would benefit them because they managed to vote turns out that a lot of these individuals were actually very much uh, involved in the actual voting uh, and they talk about accountability but the accountability really sits with making sure the voting system works so yeah look for, for me I'm not seeing any accountability and if uh, you expect accountability that uh, you know you need to give some yourself um you know i'm gonna leave it leave it there i think that i probably said way too much for for a video but it is what it is it's on my mind i'm gonna speak it and um yeah look um i hope people stake with us continue to stake with us i hope people go away do their own research even when we're talking about stuff go away do your research and uh see whether projects resonate with yourselves before making those investment decisions um i hope you enjoyed today's podcast if you did mash up that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, tap in that bell, select in all the notifications so you never miss a video. And uh, I apologize for all the rambling and maybe some of it makes sense, maybe some of it doesn't, uh, but maybe the people that need to hear it are listening. Uh, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll catch you in the next one.